Steam and something like Steam, you know, Steam has propelled Linux into the spotlight, really, because of the Valve um, sort of like have their own mini Steam operating system. Uh, sorry, Linux operating system, which is Steam OS. It used to be, I'm sure it was Debian, but now it's Arch. And that's on their Steam decks. So they make all their games, they want the games to be compatible with Linux. So we've got the thing called the Proton layer. The Proton is a translation layer that sits in between a Windows game and Linux and lets you run it. So you can install Steam and Steam, because of this, it's made Steam uh, Linux become way more accessible to the general public because they can play the games on it and they have a free operating system that's not loaded with spyware and stuff. Anyway, so let's just launch Steam. It's easy to install from the store again. Um, comes up as usual, it says. Now, there is one thing you have to do with this. For games on OpenSUSE, you have to install a, a one line of code. I'll make sure I put it in the copy. It's it, because um, OpenSUSE has what's called is a, was it Secure Enterprise Linux. And this is a sort of security thing. And you put it in and it allows the games to run. I, when I first did it, I got caught out by it. So, um, so I've got Call of Duty on here. Let's just fire that up. I mean, I never really thought, I mean, like many of us, that I'd ever play Call of Duty on Linux. Um, but the world's changed so dramatically. I mean, Proton, when this thing originally came out, let me just get out of that. Proton, when it originally came out, it's a few years ago, it's bit, sort of predates, I don't know, it predates this game. So let's just do just resume game. Yep, I've got this on maximum 4K settings, maximum rendering, maximum everything. So it's going to give me a bit of a bit of an intro sequence here, which is nice. But yeah, so you can play it. 